and I want to show you the midnight sun. You've heard about the midnight sun before, but I'm actually going to show it to you now, subhanAllah. This is, this is actually west, right? But the sun is not setting in the west here. Actually, it's not setting at all. It's actually in our north. Why? Because this sun keeps going around the sky in circles. Because this sun keeps going around the sky in circles. It doesn't set, it just keeps going around in circles all day. So as you know, I've made the terrible social mistake of questioning whether or not we live on a globe or not. That being said, I don't think I'll ever be positive one way or the other as to what it is that we live on. For example, I'll never be able to try to go into space to verify that there is a pressure gradient that leads to nothingness, an absolute vacuum. I may never go to Antarctica to verify the uh, a 24-hour sun, if there is one or not. I may never go to South America to verify this Sigma Octantis, but you know what? I think that we should just go through like the list of things that you know I can't verify that are in question that that seem to be proofs of a globe Earth. Let's start with the 24-hour sun in Antarctica. Check out this video. Clearly, this shows us, if anything, that trickery is afoot. And this is not just one of the months, this is not just two of the months, it's not just five of the months. This is every month that they have a webcam video for, they have edited and cut out part of the day. And these are during the main months, which are January, December, and November, the southern summer. In this video, let's watch this green flag down below. You'll see it starting around maybe 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock rotates around to about two o'clock and then resets. Rotate around, reset. This is obviously a lie. This is obviously not what's going on. Why don't we get to see the sun do a 360 degree turn around the southern continent? Now remember, this would be pretty good evidence and proof of the globe because it doesn't work on a flat earth to see the sun go around the southern continent. However, on a globe, it is something that should be really evident and should be seen in every single summer video from the South Pole. But again, watch the flag. It'll start around 8 o'clock, rotate around until it gets to 2, and then reset and start over. This should be a huge eye-opener should be something that screams to you fraud fake set up contrived so tell me have you heard of operation fishbowl i heard of it before but i've never went down that rabbit hole until today the truth needs to be known operation fishbowl was a series of high altitude nuclear tests in 1962 that were carried out by the united states as a part of the larger operation dominic nuclear test program Digging a little bit deeper, I find out the United States completed six high-altitude nuclear tests in the 1958. 1958, now why does that sound familiar? Oh yeah, it's the same year that NASA was founded. And all just a year later was the Antarctic Treaty signed. And what does that matter, you say? Well, it just so happens that in 1958, the Britannica Encyclopedia actually says that there is a dome over Antarctica above 13,000 feet. Hmm, high-altitude test, a dome over Antarctica, a treaty can't go there, like... Hmm, I don't know. That kind of sounds sus to me. Not to mention, what the f are you doing blowing shit up in our atmosphere like that? Like, shame on you for having and doing nuclear bombs. Like, what the f Boy, are they trying to crack that dome. They're really trying to crack this firmament. So in California, they have this big old, like, um, it's called spin launch. So what it does is they've been slinging rockets up, um, like missile-sized rockets, and, um, it spins them in this like little vase thing at around 10,000 miles per hour. It's an arm and it like latches on like an arm like that and it goes around like that. It holds the missile, right? And it spins around at 10,000 miles per hour and shoots the rocket towards, towards space. Uh, I just seen a video on that. Um, it's called Spin Launch. 
Go check into that. That's wow. They're really trying, huh? Ten thousand miles per hour. That's crazy. Hey, God is. <laughs> They're not gonna crack that dome. Good. Hey, TikTok, check this out again with me real quick. This is Job chapter 38, verses 4 and 5. Where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth? That's a question. He's asking you, where was you when I laid the foundations of the earth? Question mark. Declare. That means acknowledge it. Say something about it. If thou hast understanding. Verse 5. Who hath laid the measures thereof? I'm going to go ahead and tell you once again, there ain't but one individual that laid the measures thereof that's the creator of all things if thou knowest again another question do you know or who has stretched the line upon it okay here we go with the line and here we go with upon it upon what the foundations of the earth i have never in my life looked at a ball and said boy that looks like a straight line This is called How to Red Pill Yourself, and it's a list of videos that I think you should watch that will hopefully get you to take the red pill and wake up to see how the world really works and what the world really is. Every video that I mention here, I'll show a screenshot of it, it's on YouTube. If you go to the comments section, I will pin every one of the YouTube URLs in this video. So again, number one, a funny thing happened on the way to the moon, watch that first here. The second video is a video called 200 Proofs Earth is Not a Spinning Ball, HD Remastered, 
by Eric Dubé. Again, the link will be in the description below. The next video after that is called Level 2021 and it's called A Flat Earth Documentary. After that, the same people have got even another documentary called The Next Level 2022. I'm going to put the link in my description pinned before uh, below. So it'll be pinned below all these uh, documentaries that you should watch pinned below. Okay, so here I am out here in September and as you can see, there's obviously a really very clear planet that is right north of the sun. And while I would love to say it was the moon, but since the moon happens to be right here on the opposite side, there's no way it is. And since we all have been taught in school that Mercury and Venus do not show up, oh, just look at that planet just beaming and shining right now. Somebody tell me what it is. Thank you.